are we going to do today? It's been a little while. It has. It's a bit of a tidy up, trim it down a little bit, mm -hmm. make it look presentable. Okay, so a little bit more weight in the front then, I think, and then tighter on the sides. We want the cheeks nice and sharp? Yeah. Or do you want me to just blend them in natural, taper them in? Blend it in, then that way I can grow it out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then we can kind of see where the natural lines go in. You can always put the line in at home because you kind of know where it is. With the underneath, obviously, we need to get rid of all this weight, right? Yeah, so definitely. that's all the annoying part. I mean, I like the length in front here. We might just clean it up a little bit, right? And yep. then just clean that nice and square. And I'll taper this in natural, yeah? Yep. Okay, cool. And clean up that tash, obviously, a little bit. Yes, please. Maybe the nostrils too. <laughs> using number three now we're coming up a little bit into the beard I just put a guide in there so I could see where we were going to leave the uh, bottom weight of the beard just for the shape I just want to build up a nice little natural taper underneath number one going down on that hair that grows up Point five now, we start seeing it fading out a little bit. Sometimes with beers like this where it's low maintenance, you want a little, just a taper of it instead of putting the line in. It lasts a little bit longer, you can be a bit more lazy. Just gonna come down here with a three just to remove a bit of the weight. What I'm going to do is taper the um, sideburns into the hair as well as down here into the beard so we can taper this short hair into there. So what he wants to do is just grow it out to basically the natural line. But you see we're still keeping that weight at the bottom there. Generally when you come down like this, this is good for the guys with the patchy beards you know, because you keep most of the length on it. Just remove the little ones that are sticking out. Yeah. Taking the sides of his hair to a one, so it's just going to fade in quite nicely. Then uh, this is like a one and a half little filler guard. Right here, we're using the number one. And what I'm going to do just to remove the volume is I'm going to come down on it, so we still maintain a bit of the tash. What we're doing is getting rid of all the hairs that are sticking out on the top. Almost like a bit of a reverse graduation. That's a long word, I know, but... This will just keep, you know, sort of most of the, the tags without. This one and a half now, we're just going to remove all of this out of the way. Because that tends to grow into the beard itself, into this part here. It sticks out, so we'll just get rid of that. By going down, obviously we're making it shorter around the lips and then maintaining the length on the bottom. We're gonna just clean up the tash. Still very natural, not going too much into the lip as well. He's a natural kind of guy. Just using the scissors just to get rid of anything that's sort of sticking out. Just cropping that in a little bit. Go for the old money. Basically, a couple drops, yeah. Not too much. Those gaps, but yeah. I'm trying to Wipe grow that, that into back the hands. So get that right down to the skin as well, yeah. I prefer the higher line. Yeah. So I know it's going to be a bit uneven there, but I'll rather look this. If you see here now, yeah. you see these bits, yeah. how short they are. Yeah. Right? And now you've got kind of thick. You yeah. see how long these yeah. pieces are. Right? So it's like what we were saying before. Okay. 